Hi everybody, it's Robin with Uniquely Robins. Um, I just want to take a minute here to first apologize for not having the videos up every day like I normally do. Um, I know some of you know I've had some uh, medical issues going on um, and I feel that I owe it to you to let you know a little bit about what's going on so that you understand when I don't have a video up why. Um, I've been having a lot of tests run and um, trying to find out what's going on with me, why I've been so sick lately, and uh, still have some other tests to be run. I've been referred to a specialist. Um, I have um, stage 3B kidney failure. So um, we're trying to work on that and figure out what's going on and how to, to, to fix it. Because um, I definitely don't want to get to stage 5. Because that's dialysis and I don't really want to go there. So um, just wanted to really apologize to you. Um, because I have not had the videos that up that I should have had up. And um, it has affected the UCC which I feel very bad about because that is one of my passions. Um, it's helping other people with their YouTube channels and their Etsy stores. Um, but that is one of the reasons I have had to take a break from that for just a while until we figure out what's going on and, and where to go from here. Um, it, those will be back up and running. Um, I know we have put up there that we're kind of taking a spring break, um, but I, I just felt that I owed it to you to let you know why. Um, I, I don't want you to think that I don't care about doing it anymore because that is the furthest thing from the truth. Um, I really, really enjoy doing them and um, I enjoy helping people out as much as I can. Um, that is also why I haven't been on Facebook as much. I just haven't had the time with um, all the tests I've been having to go do, the doctor's appointments and then waiting on doctors to call you back. And of course you think they're gonna call, but they say at a certain time and they don't. Um, and then time runs out and I don't have a chance to get a video done and up that day. Uh, so I just really, really wanted to apologize to you all for that. Um, I, I don't plan on going anywhere. Um, Lord willing, and the creek don't rise, I'll be continuing to do my videos. Uh, they just may be, you know, two or three a week here for a little while until, um, I know what I need to do. So, um, that being said, uh, I, I still want you to send me your, um, Etsy store links if you're interested in being promoted on my channel. I also still want you to send us the uh, YouTube links if you're still wanting to be promoted on the UCC. We will continue to do that. Um, Terry from Sweet Bee Papers and I have been doing that and uh, I'm really glad I brought her in on that because she does a fabulous job making those videos. She's the one who makes the videos and takes all that time. Um, and I know here in the last couple of weeks I've relied on her a lot more than I had before and I'd relied on her a lot then but um, a lot more than before but um, I just you know want to give us both a little bit of a break and uh, we will start back up in a couple of weeks doing those again so please continue to send your information continue to go to Facebook and our groups and either one of our groups and put your um, information up there so that we have it as I try to schedule mine, you know, four and five weeks in advance out so that I know what's going on when. Um, I like to kind of try to keep a schedule. Okay, enough of that boring stuff. Let's get to our little journal here. Um, I picked one page from his and one page from, one page from the boys and one page from the girls. And we're going to, I was trying to think of how I could make the cover to where it would be durable for I mean, a three and four year old, um, and I know kids can be messy and they spill things. And so I thought the best way to do that would be to laminate the cover. Um, kind of like we did our um, gardening journal that we made. Uh, so we're gonna do that. Um, I got my laminating machine out here and it's all warmed up. And oh, looks like I grabbed more, more pages than I needed, but that's okay. Um, I haven't decided about laminating the inside pages. Um, some of them I might. I uh, even thought about maybe laminating the plain pages and then giving them some um, dry erase markers. I want to find out how washable those are first. Um, so they could write in their journals with dry erase markers and then my daughter can just wipe them out and then they could do it again. Um, 
so that might be the way that we go on that i haven't decided on that for sure yet but i know i do want to do the cover uh laminate the cover so we are going to if i can get it open put this first page in and i'm trying to leave a little bit of room all the way around so we can um, have an edge on it so it will make sure it's encased very well um, I want to pull it out just a little bit I'm having a hard time with this laminating sheet it's kind of clean I'm trying to make sure I have an, as much on this side as I do on that side and trying to get it straight but you know me huh? straight and I don't do well there let's try that so I brought the laminator up here so that you could see how I'm doing this and what I'm doing. Um, I got this laminator, um, it says Amazon Basics. So I got it off of Amazon. Uh, I think it was only, I'm pretty sure it was under $20. Um, Cause you normally don't spend that much. Ooh, it's warm, it feels good. Uh, but yeah, it'll laminate a 12, is it a 12 by 12? I'd have to look at the box for sure. I, I know it'll laminate an 8. Maybe it's just an 8. Maybe it said 8 by 12. But 8 sheet, this is an 8 by 12. You can get laminating papers that are longer too. If you have something longer that you want to laminate. And as long as it'll fit in the opening, it'll be fine. So, and this does take a little bit of time to get through there. But we want to make sure it's encased very well. I was going to print on the back of these, excuse me, and I didn't, but my reasoning for not was I was going to glue these down to a regular um, 12 by 12 sheet of paper and use that as the inside cover. So we had a paper inside cover. Um, but I haven't decided yet if I want to do that or if I want to make it all laminated so that, like I said, they can use dry erase markers on it or what have you, crayons, you know, something that'll wash right off. So there's our first sheet. And I may just change my mind again. Who knows, with me, I change my mind a lot. All right, so let's do the next one. Having a problem with my printer this morning too. It just went back to that wanting to print in black and white again. Just have to have my husband look at it. He did something to it last time and fixed it, and I don't know what he did, so we'll just have him do it again. Oh, oh, oh. oh it's on the outside. I saw a little piece of something on there, a little piece of fuzz or something, but I thought it was on the inside. It wasn't. But I love my laminator. I use it a lot. Um, it's great for a lot of different things. And you can put three mil or five mil paper in this. Um, Sure. Let me grab another sheet here. I'll show you it too. Okay. Uh, these are the sheets that I got. They're also from Amazon, Amazon Basics. Um, you get 50 sheets. Uh, trying to remember. I'm not sure how much I paid for this, but it couldn't have been much. I don't spend a lot on on most things, so it had to have been a good deal. Let's get another piece out. Because I had an idea while I was running those through there that, um, and watch for it, because after I use all these sheets, we're gonna use this box and make something really cool too. Um, I wanted to pick a couple of these really cool ones. I think we're gonna use that one for the blue one. 
and this one for the pink one. I had thought about using these for the cover, but if I used it for the cover when you folded it in half, you were really only going to see half on each side. Um, and that's why I opted for this one because there wasn't a lot on the back. So when you fold it, it still looks very, very cute. Um, and then on hers as well, and it has a saying up here and it says, Somewhere over the rainbow skies are blue and the dreams that you dare to dream really do come true. Then on the back it'll say, um, Then one day when you last, least expect it, the great adventure finds you. So I thought that was pretty good for cover. Um, but we're going to cover these two. Um, first, I'm going to trim the white off of the edges. And I think I'm going to give these two to them for um, placemats. And my daughter has a hard time sometimes getting them to eat at the table. And I thought if they had a really cool placemat at the table, maybe they would eat at the table more. Because that's, that's when family time should be, is at the table, where you discuss your days and find out how everybody's doing but a bit of a headache today okay. I just hope you guys don't feel that I have let you down in the last few weeks that I haven't been doing all the videos that I should be doing I've I don't really, I really hate to let somebody down. Okay, let's see. Come on. Figure while we got this warmed up, we'll go ahead and make this placemat for them. And I think it's so cute. These papers are so cute. Then I'll just print another one of each one of these pages out, so I have it. We're going to play with the laminator today. Okay. Almost like an eraser. Um, when you erase something, you know how you have the, the little pieces of dust or whatever you want to call them that um, stay there. That must have been what that was because I found a couple other ones too. Must not have brushed off my desk very good last night. And another thing I like about laminating these kits is for some reason when you run it through the laminator, I guess it's the heat or something, but it really pulls the colors up to the front. I mean, look how colorful that is. It just makes it so much brighter, I think. I think that'll make a nice little placemat for little, little, little dudes. All right, now let's do this one. And I also have been wanting to play around with some napkins. Um, I had a couple of people send me a few napkins. I haven't really had much of a chance to play with napkins, but some of the napkins they sent me are so beautiful. Seaside scene, that would be so pretty. Um, this is just some of them. I have a, a box of them. Somewhere I need to use a love of purple. Flowers, butterflies, bees, love those. Would love to have some bee uh, napkins. Look at them butterflies, aren't they pretty? They're just gorgeous. Let me grab this before it knocks everything off. Some fish. Okay, so here's this. So let me put it out of our way. And sometimes when you um, run those through, like I just noticed on his, there's a couple of spots that didn't really seem like it caught real well. And I just run it back through again. And that doesn't hurt anything. Isn't that beautiful with the little cherry blossoms and the flowers and the butterflies? It's gorgeous. Um, and I'm gonna, we're gonna laminate a couple of these today because, uh, we have another project coming up we're going to be doing with these and our snap buttons. Um, and yes, you can laminate uh, napkins. I had done this years and years ago. 
if I can remember how I did it. I want another napkin that's the same size, so I'm going to use this purple one. Now, I haven't taken the other things off yet. Um, you know how they have different plies to them? Okay. You see, that looks better, and it caught the piece that didn't catch the first time. I think it's because I wasn't paying too much attention to it, but there we go. So, yeah, you can run it back there again. It won't hurt anything. Uh, however, if you have a big wrinkle in it, it might make it bigger. All right. Come on. There we go. So we're going to take this one off. These napkins are usually two or three ply sometimes. I'm going to keep this piece because you never know. We might need it for something. And I'm going to do the same to this one. It's hard to get a hold of it. Some people use, um, what do, is it, they use a piece of tape or something, I think, to get a hold of the outside paper, and that's probably a great idea. I want to make sure this didn't have another ply to it, but I don't think it does. Okay, now we're going to put these, okay, trying to see which direction they go because I want to put them go in the same direction. I guess it doesn't really matter because half of it goes one way and half of it goes the other. So I guess it doesn't really matter. So now you can press this if you want so you don't have those um, harsh lines in there, uh, which normally I would probably do, but for time's sake today, we're not going to. We're not gonna. So let me get another piece out. And yes, I'm doing two napkins, but I'm only going to use one piece. And I'll show you why when we get it done. I'm trying not to tear up my box because I do want to use that. I have plans for that. I'm going to, let's see, I think I want mainly the bottom half of that. So I'm going to. put this on here because I am going to trim this first I'm trying to see where I want to trim it at I don't think I want that big of border or do I want a border maybe I yeah I do want some I'm trying to save that end too I'm trying to just <laughs> to kind of center this but make sure I'm not I'm leaving that side so I can still use it somewhat go this way because I want to get those okay now I'm going to cut this I really don't want that big I guess we're gonna just use some of those try not to get to those flat or those uh, birds because we may use those for something else so let's do it this way and I'm going to cut some off I do still want it to stick out a little bit from my um, plastic, I guess what you call it, um, my laminating sheet. Okay, I'm having a little trouble here. I'm trying not to get that to move, but I'm trying not to cut those birds. <laughs> Because I love those words. They are so pretty. And I'm going to use those somewhere. So we don't want. We don't want to cut the birds heads off. If we can help it. Alright. I'm going to go up. Make sure. Okay. I wasn't thinking about the one on the other side. Making sure I didn't cut something important over there. But I don't think I did. Okay. Now I want a little bit of an edge sticking out. Because that's going to help me once it's done. So grab a hold of my napkin. I'm going to slide it in here. Try to get it 
up as far as I can. Alright. Now this will somewhat uh, iron your napkin out a bit while it's going through. But I want to try to make sure I don't have any great big wrinkle in there because it will stay in there. Okay, I don't think we do. So let's see. Having a time. Okay, come on. I left a little bit too much on that edge. Because you only have so much of an opening there. So we may have to trim these edges just a little bit more. The bottom edge doesn't matter because lengthwise it doesn't matter. It's just widthwise if it'll fit in your your opening here. And mine was having a little trouble. It probably still would have pulled it through, but um, I didn't want to force it and take the chance of having a great big wrinkle in it when I got done. So I just trimmed a little more. All right, now I'm going to kind of make sure I get any big wrinkles out. And let's try again. I know this works, I've done it a long time ago. But it's been a long time. I'm trying to remember how you do something from a long time ago. I mean, it's been years. It's coming. It does take a while, and I apologize for the taking so long, but it does take a while. Because it wants to feed through slowly so that it... And that's a good thing that it does that because it kind of works your wrinkles out too. If it went real fast, it would probably have all kinds of wrinkles in it. Okay. So there we have that. And unplug this. And move it out of my way. Let me put it over here out of the way. Okay, now when we open it, come here. See where we didn't? We let it hang over a little bit. It's not sticking. Now the side that cut a little too short, it's sticking a little bit, but we're just gonna slowly peel it off like that. We're gonna cut the two apart. Let me use my, make sure it gets straight. It's not imperative, but I would rather, I would rather it was straight. Okay, so now we have our two sheets that are laminated. And what I thought, I have these um, notebooks. I did get these at Amazon too. You get like 50 of them, I think. I want to say they were like $20, but um, I will have to look back through to, to know for sure. So if you're interested in these and you can't find them on Amazon, let me know and I'll send you a link for them. Um, but they're just regular writing tablets, but they come with just craft paper fronts. So I thought what we would do is use our nice laminated paper And if we start on this side and we glue that on, whoops, I ripped it. That's all right, it was just the, it's not the laminated part. And we'll glue that on and make some kind of a closure. Now, if you have a longer napkin and longer um, paper or a smaller notebook, any of those things. You can make this longer here to where you can fold it up and make you one of them snap flaps um, like we did for the other. Or you can use uh, for the little 
narrow like um, traveler's notebook size and then if you had the traveler's notebook size then you could cover it this way you're going to glue this directly to whatever you're using and then you can make a little flap in the front with one of those little button snaps the little plastic ones that we used the other day um, and be able to snap it and it makes it nice so you can throw it in your purse and you're not going to have to worry about it getting all nasty um, that was my idea so uh, we're going to make one of these real quick so you can see so we're going to cover this and I'm going to put my glue on this notebook um, you can use PVA glue you can use our glitter glue um, if you have a really good stick glue you could probably use that also I've never used stick glue on it but I'm sure it will work whatever kind of glue you normally use for your paper crafting because you're just basically gluing a napkin on here whoops going crazy okay so I'm gonna slide that up a little bit because I want to get it as close to the edge as I can pull it up just like that If you have a credit card or something to smooth it out with, that would be great. Probably work really well. Make sure there's no bubbles under there. I'm just gonna kind of use this uh, bead container I have because it's right here. Oops, <laughs> I'm losing beads. <laughs> what a day. Okay, my drawer slid open. My husband brings me these home from work. Um, he's a machinist and they get tools that go to the machine that come in these and they just throw them out. So he brings them home to me. I have three or four more downstairs. And I love them because they hold these little tiny uh, sequency beads so well. And they got the little round ones on this side. They hold them so well. And I put a different color in each one and they snap together. So you have, um, they stack up really nice. Okay, I think I've jabbered long enough that for that to dry. Now we're gonna, whoops, somehow we got some glue stuck on there. Oh, really? Really? There. Ah, no. Oh, I didn't get it all off. That was my problem. I thought there was another layer on that one. Not a problem. That's not a problem, because we're going to cover it up anyway, so. I thought it felt like there was more than one layer on there. But goodness me. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right, <laughs> sorry about that. Let's do that again. But that's not a big deal because we'll just, we can glue right over top of this. It's not gonna hurt anything. And try to make sure you get all your layers off. Most nap, I was gonna say most napkins come three ply, I thought. I mean, you can get some two ply, but uh, usually they come at least three. And, you know, the more expensive they are, the more plies they have sometimes. Okay. Let's try that again. And I want... Yeah, it goes that way. Okay. Goodness me. Flip it over, and we'll trim off our edges when we get it all done. 
O on here. Since you're really not gluing the whole inside, if, you, if you're gonna run it through your laminator like I did the placemats and make to where you have it fully encased, definitely wanna make sure you get all your layers off before you do that. I don't wanna run a bead along there. And then we're going to pull this this way onto the front. This is a beautiful napkin. Beautiful. Okay. Grab another one here. I know we're supposed to be working on the kids' journals, but since we had the laminator out, I'm going to set this one aside to dry. And we're going to work on this one now. I think I did the same thing to this that has another ply on there. There we go. Hey, it made it easier to take that off. Okay. Is that it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I want to make sure that was it. All right, now well, let's do this one. We're going to make sure we have our paper the right direction. Now, as thin as this is, you will see whatever's on here through it. So if it has printing or something like that on it, um, it may not work as well. I mean, it'll still work, but um, if the printing, you'll see the printing through there, just so you know that. So if you're covering like a, one of them store-bought papers that you have sayings or something on them, those that will show through, just so you know, because your napkin is really thin. Okay, you could brush this on, the glue on if you wanted to, or I just find it easier just to do that. To the edge of my book. Love these birds. Or you could even stamp underneath it if you have a napkin that has, um, like, do I have one here? Uh, But if you have one that has a, a lot of white, say this, a lot of white up here and there's just something in the corner or something, then you may want to stamp on your book before you do this. So it'll show through that white part and make look look kind of like a collage, which would be cool too. Oops. Hold on. Hold the phone. Got some. Had some glue off. I didn't want to stay on the thing. I was trying to get on my pages and I don't want that. I don't want to glue my pages together. to the edge and it did should have brought my little tiny rolling pin up here that would have worked really good for this okay now we're gonna go and trim this 
Ooh, let me grab a, my napkin here. I have a little bit of excess. I don't want my pages stuck together. Okay. I'm going to cut this. Trim the, the edges off. One day here when I get a minute to organize it, I want to, uh, I've had a lot of people ask me what I do with the things that I make. Um, if I'm not making them for somebody specific, which I don't always make them for someone specific. Sometimes I just have an idea and make it. Um, I am going to be putting them up for sale or auction, one of the two. And I'm I thinking I may go have a, do a video to, um, I can't even think straight today. I do a video showing you what all I have and numbering things and let my Facebook people have first choice at them. Um, so if you're interested in purchasing one or, or bidding on one, you can um, either email me or send me a message through Messenger and uh, that way try to get me some room around here. Um, I do have an Etsy store. I just have not been having the time to go up there and do that because my UCC videos and helping promote you guys' stuff is more important to me right at the moment. Just trying to round those corners where they're supposed to be. And then we're going to go back through and make sure everything is sticking good. A lot of times these corners need a little extra um, adhesive on them. They want to sometimes pull away. Okay. I could have used my corner rounder to do that, I guess. Okay. I just want to make sure we are... Okay. Now let's do a trimming on this one. Hopefully I didn't glue my pages closed. Oops, I think I did one. No. No, it's just a little bit, no problem. And these are real easy to cut. Um, well, I'm not cutting the book itself. The laminate and stuff is real easy to cut, so. And you do definitely want to um, let it dry good, probably before you trim it. But since we're doing a video and for time's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So you can see the finished product, but it's a lot easier to cut once it's dry. Just make sure your pages aren't gluing together. Let's get this corner here. I just thought this was a good trick to have in your repertoire since we were using the laminator today anyway. I already had it out and warmed up. This side, get this little corner around it. Ah, you thought you were gonna stay on there, didn't you? Got news for you. There. Okay. I love playing with napkins. I need to do it more often. I need to do some decoupaging with some napkins. And I do appreciate everyone who sends me things. Um, it does help me out a lot. And I try to let everybody know when I get them what I got and who I got it from. Um, if you put uh, 
your name on it. Some people just send things anonymously, and then I, get, I like to thank them, and can't. All right. Oh, I wonder where it went. Which also reminded me. I wanted to show you um, this card. I received from Jaw Birch, um, Judy, her, her name on YouTube and Facebook is Jaw Birch, um, is she sent me a thinking of you card, which was really sweet of her and I appreciated it very, very well. And she didn't fill the inside so I can use the card and we're going to make something out of this and the envelope matches. Look how beautiful that is. So we will be making something with that. But she just sent me a little quick note. It says, Dear Robin, I just wanted to let you know how special you are and thank you for all you do. Thank you, J Judy Birch, Ja Birch. Bye. So I appreciate that very much, Ja. I really do. Um, I'm a snail mail girl. I like sending things through the mail. I like getting things through the mail. And I appreciate this very much. And this came on a day um, when I was having a, a, a difficult day. Um, so really appreciated it. So thank you very, very much. It meant a very, a very lot to me. Um, so, okay. We have our book covers or our um, placemats that we made today. We also made our book covers. So we will sew our signatures right inside there. And that will be nice and easy for it to be washed off if they happen to spill anything on it or anything like that. So we made two of those and we made two, um, just some little writing books. Um, I know I, you always keep a, a notebook of some sort in my purse for when I uh, put my grocery list in or if I have doctor's appointments to write down what they say, you know, things like that. Um, you may want to go through and make sure you open all your pages before it dries completely because sometimes that glue does want to stick your pages. So you just, you know, go through like this. No big deal. And with these being plain on the outside, you can do them however you want. Um, You did mess up and put your outside on upside down <laughs> there's no writing in it yet so unless you're doing one you've already written in uh, it doesn't really matter you can turn these either direction okay well i'll finish doing this later so i don't want to drive you crazy with it but yeah um you could put your little um closure on here if you wanted to before you glued it down you could put you a piece of lace in there to tie it closed with um, like I said if you have a long enough napkin or a small enough book you can always make it big enough to make the the cover come you know over top like this to where you can button it down or snap it down or velcro it down there's just so many uses for it but this will keep it when you throw it in your purse from getting if your lipstick comes open or your hand sanitizer opens up it's not really going to ruin your cover of your book because you can wipe it right off that's what i like about them but they look so beautiful and no one would ever know that those were napkins i mean come on um definitely gonna put one of these in my purse so you guys have a great great day um i appreciate your time and i really appreciate you guys so very much um especially for sticking with me here the last few weeks i've been having some troubles and haven't been on so much and again i do apologize for that um i'll work on that but um yeah i have a lot of a lot of things in in my head swarming around in there that i want to make with you and get out so we definitely will be doing some more fun stuff here soon um, I will be doing at least three videos a week. Um, I will promise you that even if I don't get a video every day here for a little while, um, I, I will be, even if I stay up half the night, I will be making at least three videos a week. So, um, I don't want everybody to give up on me and, and, and leave me. So, uh, yeah, show the girls below some love. 
Show your family some love. Give everybody hugs and kisses. Anytime you can see them, tell them you love them. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye. God bless.